are you guys doing here? There's no who cosplays today. I've got nothing new. Arrow's done with. I've, I've got nothing, guys. Birmingham Con's still two weeks away. I've got no new content for you. Heck, I can't even do any merchandise reviews for, for you today. So what are you all sat in front of your TV screens for and your computer screens? I've lit I'm not going to be doing much. I'm just playing the guitar in me hoodie and coat. Guys, I'm sorry. You're wasting your time. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm not reviewing another screwdriver. I did that three years ago. I beg of belief how wrong we got the sound effects. I'm not putting myself through that again. No, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. Sorry, guys. No way. Why are you still here? It's not happening. I'm sorry, it's not happening. There is no way I'm reviewing this screwdriver. What are you guys looking at? Hello everyone out there on YouTube and welcome to a merchandise review of Who Cosplays. Today we're not looking at any particular costume, despite my Capaldi-esque looking costume I'm wearing right now. Um, today we are just looking at one prop you can use when you're putting a Capaldi cosplay together. Uh, because I haven't done a prop episode of Who Cosplay since I started. I, when I did these reviews I literally went through the costumes and then I'd go through the items you can use to for props to make your cosplay that better. A bit better. So, um... This is what I have for you. The 12th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Um, now I have reviewed every other screwdriver, every single one, back when I used to do action figure reviews and merchandise reviews, I reviewed every single screwdriver that character options have ever released. Um, and if you watch those two videos, um, you would have noticed I was a bit annoyed with them because most of them had the incorrect sound effects even after the correct sound cards were released. But I love the design of all the screwdrivers, so um, people who thought I didn't like them at all, um, you wouldn't have been able to tell, tell that I hated them from how many times I said it beggars belief. Sorry about that one in advance. Um, but I like the screwdrivers. If you want to see me review them, please check them out. But for today, we're looking at the Mark 8 screwdriver that the 12th Doctor uses. So let's just get into that and see what we've got. Now, this screwdriver is very, very interesting to me because um, initially... Peter Capaldi's Doctor used the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, so it was pretty much the same. And he didn't use it much, he used it sparingly. He didn't even pop the claws up when he used it. Um, and then he got those stupid Sonic sunglasses, which is my little nod here. Which, I'm sorry, I hate the Sonic sunglasses. They are so silly. It's just a gimmick that I just don't like. Because um, it's... it's it, I mean, come on, the screwdriver's a classic element of Doctor Who. You can't get rid of it. So when they used the Sonic sunglasses, I was just like, ugh. But luckily, by the end of Series 9, Clara was gone, sadly, and the TARDIS gave the Doctor a new screwdriver. This one, the Mark 8, which has not been used very much. Um, more, It's been used more so in Series 10, um, but it's still not used much. And spoiler alert, if you watched the last episode that was on, Oxygen, unfortunately, the screwdriver met its end. So whether it stays that way, we'll have to find out. Uh, but this screwdriver, I like this one because its its design, while very big and very bizarre, is very reminiscent of the TARDIS. If you look at this emitter at the top here, the um, it's designed like the TARDIS lamp, which the, it's like an elongated vision of the lamp and streamlined. At the top here, you've got like all these sections which are 
all divided up, like the lamp itself, um, and then you have the translucent sections of it here, which are where the light stream comes from for when you use the screwdriver's sound effects and lighting button. Um, the rest of it, it's all mainly blue, silver and gold. Um, as you can see, you've got the blue section here, you've got some more circular silver sections and this gold band here. These claws, which are sort of re look like they're part of the TARDIS, which is the main thing about the screwdriver I like. It's like it's part of the TARDIS it came from. Um, you also have the button, which is like a roller button, but really it just goes up and down. Um, you can push it up and you can push it down, but I'll show you the sound effects to that in a bit. Um, you have this section where it's split in half, and you have two gold bands with a black band in the middle. You have this silver section with the gold interior sections there, and you've got these claws hooked onto it and screwed in. There's a lot of screws in this one, here, 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 and on the sides as well. Um, and these claws are, um, are also on. Be careful not to press on these too hard when using the screwdriver, because you can crush them under your hand if you're too vigorous with your hand pressure. Um, and then you have this band of silver here as well, with a midsection as well. Here, there's this blue bit. And these are all, um, one thing to note about the blue is it's TARDIS blue as well, which is very, very nice. I like the fact that it's TARDIS blue. Um, and then you have another section here, like the tail end of the screwdriver, sort of like the War Doctors and the Eleventh Doctors had, and even the Tenth Doctors a little bit. Um, and this is all silver here. Then you have this kind of lined pattern going across this section here. Um, as well, I'll just bring it up closer so you can see there, there you go and then a blue section, another gold band and then it ends with the silver flat piece at the bottom so that's the details in a nutshell, very, very nice um, like I said, TARDIS blue to match the colour of the TARDIS I haven't got a TARDIS at hand to show you but um, actually I might do that, just bear with me one second here we are, here is the TARDIS, this is my money box TARDIS, it's full of coins and as you can see it matches the um, colour of the screwdriver So and the screwdriver matches the TARDIS so it's another nice little colour feature that they've added to it here um, I like the fact that there's some blue on it, it's a bit unusual um, but it's very very nice all the same so that's the comparison in colour excuse the sound of coins um, one thing I find bizarre about the screwdriver is it's very large. Now, considering the 11th Doctor screwdriver, which I have to hand here, yes, they're about the same size, but this one is a lot longer, a lot chunkier in certain sections, and it is a very, very odd design. I have heard other people who've reviewed this say that they don't like, um, that there's something about it that they don't like, like the colour might be a bit off. I find it a bit jarring with the blue, gold and silver. It's a bit unusual compared to the standard silver and gold designs we've had from um, the other screwdrivers, the classic screwdrivers. Um, but I don't mind it so much. Some, the screwdriver changes a lot, guys, so it doesn't really matter. As long as it looks good and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it's a sonic screwdriver at the end of the day, which is practically its own character within the show, considering how much it's been used over the recent years. But anyway, let's move on to the sound effects. Now, the sound effects, as you may recall from my original reviews if you watched them, um, is a very big thing for me. If the sound effects aren't right, what's the point in making the screwdriver? If you're going to get a prop that people are going to buy and use in cosplay, or just a toy that they want, at least put the effort in to have the sound effects be correct. But the question is, does this one? Well, basically, push the emitter, the button up like this, and you get the green glowing light, as you can see, and pull it down. You get the blue light, which is the one that's more commonly used, and it's at the ends here because there's holes there at the end. Um, I'll just show you in green. But the sound effects are the standard 11th Doctor, 10th Doctor sound effects you've basically had for ever in the new series. They're the same. So whether they are correct, I'm not quite sure. I think they are because the sound effects are all this generic nowadays and the same. Um, there are a few new sound effects that this screwdriver does have in the show um, and you can activate these with a secret little code with the button. All you have to do is go one, two, three. I failed. I'll try again. One, two. You get the beam of light going around the screwdriver like that, which is very, very nice, and is actually in the show. And then if you do the same, push it up twice, you have this more glowing pulsing light from the green for when he's scanning things, um, which I quite like. I quite like that sound effect. Now, the fact that this has two different sound effects which aren't on any of the other screwdrivers is very good. Other screwdrivers add hidden sounds, 
but these are unique. So while we do have these same old sounds for the normal one, the hidden ones are very, very nice as well to have. So I am glad that they put the effort in that. I just wish that the classic screwdrivers had got it right back in the day because unfortunately they don't really make any more of these. Um, these now cost anything from 15 to 20 pounds. I think some of them might, it may, if you're in Forbidden Planet, may be a bit more expensive, but these have been out for at least a year now. So you can get them if you've been Planet, you can get them in Toys R Us. You, um, unfortunately, merchandise for Doctor is dying now, um, so there isn't that much. This is one of the few gems we've had in recent years. Um, not even action figures have come out, that's why I've stopped doing the reviews, sorry guys. Um, but you can get these in Forbidden Planet, Toys R Us, you can get them online on Amazon, um, Forbidden Planet's website, you can just find them all on there if you want this screwdriver, and it's a good little prop if you wish to cosplay as the 12th Doctor, um, which one day I may do, rather than just going in my wardrobe and getting the most Capaldi-esque clothes I have. Um, so, that might be an episode one day, maybe. Um, but yes, you can get this one, and Roberto Replicas are making a replica of this screwdriver. So, if you have a small fortune, and you've bought all the other replicas, you will be able to get your hands on this one. So, my final thoughts on this screwdriver is, I like the design, um, well, some elements of it. I like all, I like the colour scheme. Um, it's a bit weird compared, at first, compared to the other screwdrivers. I like the blue, gold, and silver. They've tried to make it look like it's come from the TARDIS, which it was when he got it. It is released from the TARDIS. Um, if you've seen the last episode of Series 9. I like how it emulates the lamp as well. Um, personally, when I knew they were re redesigning the screwdriver, I wish they'd have gone with a more classic style of the screwdriver. I was hoping for maybe the same kind of thing where you pull the switch down, which you do get, but rather than a light, you'd have a emitter at the top. But I, rather than a circular one, maybe a square one with a few little miniature lights in it, like LED lights in it that activate when he uses it, so that you had that more classic feel, and then they could have tampered around with the classic handle design. But this one's okay, I quite like it, I'm sure the kids love it, and I'm sure you collectors of Doctor Who Merchandise love it too. Um, but unfortunately it got destroyed, so whether we see the screwdriver again, or see another incarnation of the screwdriver, is yet to be seen. I just hope we're not going to be stuck with the Sonic sunglasses, because I'm sorry, I don't like the Sonic sunglasses. That's my honest opinion. Um, but that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode. So thank you for watching this two cosplays episode guys I know it wasn't about costumes, but the props are just as important as the costume and I will have something new for you soon I promise so if you want to buy these go and check out other people's reviews go check out Forbidden Planet If you want the screwdriver, please check out my other reviews and my other sonic screwdrivers if you wish to buy it um, And please leave a comment if you wish or subscribe to my channel and Let me know what you think about doing this to the camera rather than just my hands and the screwdriver on camera um, do you prefer me telling you on screen what it's like or the old style? Let me know because I may do more reviews if more screwdrivers come out. So thank you for watching this um, review guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you in another Who Cosplays. What? The review's over? And you're still here? Come on! I've got nothing else to offer you. Check back in a few weeks for Collector Mania Birmingham. It's going to be amazing. What? Oh, you want me to play the rock version of the Doctor Who theme? Okay, if you want an axe fight, you've got an axe fight.